In this video, I'm going to explain how to complete um, assignment 1.3, where we're asked to write a program that greets the user by printing the word hello, a comma, the name of the user, and an exclamation mark after it. Warning, your program's output should strictly match the desired one character by character. There shouldn't be any space between the name and the exclamation mark. You can use the plus operator to concatenate two strings. See the lesson for details. Don't see the lesson, see me. Um, I'm going to start by deleting everything so we can start fresh. Um, just note where it says concatenate. What that means is, as you may have discovered, hopefully, that means we're um, joining two strings together, basically. So when you see um, concatenate or the plus operator, when it's referring to strings, you can imagine you're just joining strings together. And in this case, in our example output, you can see we're um, concatenating hello, comma, with um, the name Harry and an exclamation mark. So the instructions say, write a program that greets the user by printing the word hello, a comma, the name of the user, and an exclamation mark after it. The problem is, every user's got a different name. So to highlight that, we could simply write a program that outputs the greeting and it would say hello, comma. We can concatenate using plus and we could say sir and then plus exclamation mark, oops, in quotes. Don't forget the quotes. If you don't use quotes, it doesn't know what you're talking about. And it simply does what we've asked it to. However, not everyone is going to be named Sir. So what we really want to do is be able to interchange what we've got in there for Sir. So let's remove that and let's put name. Now if we try running that, it won't know what name is yet because it's not defined. So what we could do is create a variable called name and then set the value of that to what the user inputs. Obviously, in this case, we're not inputting a number or a, a, um, an integer, so we don't need to convert what the user inputs into an integer. So we can give that a whirl, and all we need to do is type our name, and it's gonna say hello, and then whatever name you enter, exclamation mark. If we submit that, you'll see that we passed all our tests and our job is complete. 